ఇండియా పాకిస్తాన్ మధ్య పంతొమ్మిది వందల డెబ్బై ఒకటిలో భారత సరిహద్దుల్లో జరిగిన భీకర యుద్ధం ఆధారంగా చిత్రీకరించిన ఉత్కంఠ భరిత చిత్రం శ్రీ లక్ష్మీ జ్యోతి క్రియేషన్స్ యుద్ధ భూమి మలయాళ సూపర్ స్టార్ మోహన్ లాల్ అల్లు శిరీష్ నటించిన ఈ సినిమా యుద్ధ సన్నివేశాలతో కూడిన ఉద్విగ్న భరిత చిత్రం మరి ఆ సినిమాకు సంబంధించి మరిన్ని విషయాలు తెలియజేయడానికి మనతో పాటు ఉన్నారు డైరెక్టర్ మేజర్ గారు ఆయనతో మాట్లాడదాం హలో అండి సో ఆల్రెడీ మీరు ఆర్మీ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ నుంచి వచ్చారు ఆర్మీలో మేజర్గా వర్క్ చేశారు సో మళ్ళీ మీరు సినీ ఫీల్డ్లోకి ఎలా వచ్చారు సో మై లాంగ్వేజ్ డ్యూ అపాలజీ టు ఆల్ ద తమిళ్ కారూస్ ఓకే ఐ మీన్ తెలుగు గారూస్ మై ట్రాన్సిషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆర్మీ టు దిస్ థింగ్ ఐఎమ్ బేసిక్లీ సినిమా లవింగ్ క్యారెక్టర్ ఫ్రమ్ ద చైల్డ్ హుడ్ చైల్డ్ హుడ్ చైల్డ్ హుడ్ so if you ask me about ntr i can tell you why because we used to watch all his films those childhood times and all those things okay. then i continued when i was in the army for 24 years mm-hmm. continued watching films watching films films okay and i kept that dream in my mind okay okay then when i came out okay. i met with lal garu mm-hmm. mohan lal garu and uh, we had a mutual liking why because he likes and appreciates mm-hmm. my quality as a commando officer okay. because i am the one who did this mm-hmm. rajiv gandhi assassination case and all the things mm-hmm. so that's how we became friends and so once we became friends then i thought uh, first i thought i should act in the films mm-hmm. then later on i realized no 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 that's not my cup of tea then i backed out then i started working with the priyadarshan he was my friend and the brother and my guru i worked with him for a lot of commercial ads okay that time i worked with rajkumar sandoshi hmm. for one film called pukar pukar okay then kamala hasan for alavandan that is oh, abhay okay. hmm. then uh, maniratnam for that uh, film uh, two films uh, uh, i worked with him hmm. so in their all like military advisor capacity okay you know to make the film authentic yes yes then afterwards mm. i thought i went and narrated a story to lal garu lal garu he said i like the story very much and that is a film which super good films released in telugu also mm-hmm. in 2006 okay. that was my first film mm. in malayalam it was kirti chakra mm-hmm. and in tamil it was aran mohan lal and jeeva that became a super duper hit 185 days running in the theaters and we were even up to the national award we reached so that that was a commercial plus academical valued film okay. then i realized yes i can become a director so mm-hmm. now i have finished about 10 films okay. five films with the mohan lal garu yes five films mohan lal yes okay. one with the mamuka mm-hmm. mamuti mm-hmm. one with the prithiraj one with the dilip then to children film children film. that is what is my credit now 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 next film i am doing with the nevin polly okay. out of the army i am doing first time a love story which i am doing it great. this is what is my transition and uh, coming to <laughs> film industry okay nice very great yuddha bhumi based on any true incidents it is true incidents and true characters true characters also, also. okay Monal Garu is doing the character of a major Hoshiyar Singh. Mm-hmm. And this, of course, Mahadevan and Sahadevan and all the things. And then Alu Sirish character is Lieutenant Arun Khetrapal, who died in 1971 war. He was a tank officer. Then one Pakistani officer, Ajmal Rana. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, Rana, uh, Lieutenant Arun Rana character. But all three characters are... true characters okay. actual characters okay. and all the incidents which happens mm-hmm. in this climax there is one sequence where in the army of so this is uh, this uh, mohan lal character kills the pakistani mm-hmm. and after killing mm-hmm. he goes and uh, sit and cry on him and say ki why did i kill you edik why the why did i kill you man mm-hmm. it is all because of the war happens only because of the orders and borders if there is no borders then there is no orders so it always happens the war happens only from the order comes from delhi or islamabad 
and the war happens in between pakistan border and i mean punjab border pakistan border yes. so here the soldiers don't have any immunity they fight when the order comes they kill each other but then when you see a real hero from the other side this uh, officer actual character rosha singh wrote a letter and kept it in the pakistani officer's dead body saying that brother i wish you were in my country so on that letter the pakistanis gave the highest award to that pakistani officer because an enemy appreciation that is what the pakistanis have seen in the dead body so these kind of things are highlighted in the film okay. it's a true story based on the true incidents and true characters okay some uh, portions you will find will be dissonantic liberties but the entire film is based on the true incidents and three characters okay. and these characters are so true character he died he was paramveer chakra and real character then major hosha singh was the only one who was alive Hello. rana also died okay so uh, that is all the uh, thing and in the beginning of the film mm. we showed you and mm. united nations uh, operations operations there actually happened that the same battalions met after so many years under un flag in that place about 10 years back from there i started the story okay how this thing happened how these battalions fought so it's a true incident it's a, there is one masala in that okay yeah there is the picturized all this movie this entire film was shot in rajasthan where actually the battle happened in the punjab sector asalatar came from in all the things so we shot in the desert full that battle sequence and the tank sequence and everything was shot in the desert we shot for about 25 days in that place so a realistically feeling you will not find any houses or any even the electric lines anywhere in this complete white frames also in this thing so that is about 250 square kilometer area without any anybody living in that area so that area is an abandoned shot that's all the kind of see army support us okay real place yes good mm-hmm. How is the working experience with superstar Mohanlal? <laughs> working experience. This is my fifth film. This is my I like one there. Yeah, this is my fifth film. With him, me and uh, he has got a different uh, chemistry works because we are good friends. Okay. Uh, we admire each other. I am a great fan of Mohanlal uh, from the childhood. 80s onwards, after seeing his one film called Chitram. Yeah. That time, I was I'm a great fan of Mohanlal, and it, till now it continues. When I watch a film, you know, somebody else's film also, when I see him on the screen, I become that old fan. I'll clap and I'll whistle and all this. <laughs> But yet, I'll forget that I'm director major. So working is like it is. Uh, it is so understanding. You know, all our films, action-oriented films. Action masters will be there. But me and he will be choreographing the whole actions. So that is how the chemistry of Mohanlal and Major Ravi is working. So I do. I am. Every time I learn a lot of things from him. Working experience is that. Then I keep a shot. Then I keep watching. What is he going to do next? No, he does. He surprises people. So for me, this excitement is there. Then every time, every shot, I think that he will be giving something. different mm-hmm. what i told them okay. mm-hmm. that will be always there so that is why i always say that these kind of actors uh, we are all lucky that we jamna the love we could live when mohan lal gari or amita bachchan and all the same they are living mm-hmm. we are also in that era that itself is a big luck for us mm-hmm. and that is what i it is comfortable means i can't say comfortable i am more than comfortable yes, yes. <laughs> Do you have any sensor problems for this movie? Uh, luckily, my films from the first film, from my first film, Kirti Chakra, that is again I told you, super good films. That film had a 10 minutes rape sequence. Literally 10 minutes rape sequence. So I was worried that we are going to cut some portions. To my shock, they gave me a 
clear cut the use certificate for that film and not a single foot was cut from that why because i didn't show any vulgarity in anything in this film also you will not find too much of bloodshed or something like that and in this film when i was called again not a ua it was a clean new certificate with a such a big battle in that because i don't like showing too much of blood done if somebody is getting killed it comes here on the face don't have to show blood splashing in all this i don't believe in that i never do that where it is required a bit of blood will be there so unnecessarily showing too much of uh, you know oh no when you see you should feel oh my god he died that's a kind of feeling which i want the public to get when a girl is getting raped it is not the sexual part to be shown it is a face a lady what will be the agony which will be going through that is shown in the face not below that so this is a kind of direct crime i don't believe in shortcuts okay but this expression that takes a lot of time because a woman has to the pain has to come from her her then when it comes she has to really act so this film also i got a clean new certificate plus sensor officer and all the fine members when i walked in they stood up and clapped and said ki okay. it's a fantastic okay. film it is a true patriotic film okay. and in my film i don't show for the patriotism i don't keep shouting my characters will not shout bharat mata ki jai and it audience to say bharat mata ki jai so that is a kind of <laughs> film <laughs> okay nice ఇంతకు ముందు వార్ బ్యాక్ డ్రాప్ లో చాలా మూవీస్ వచ్చాయి ఇస్ దేర్ ఎనీ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ దోస్ మూవీస్ అండ్ దిస్ మూవీ సీ ఎవరీ వన్ మేక్స్ ఫిలిం అకార్డింగ్ టు देयर విజన్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాన్సీస్ ఐ మేక్ ఫిలిమ్స్ బికాజ్ ఐ మై సెల్ఫ్ వాస్ అన్ ఆర్మీ మ్యాన్ ఐ హావ్ గాన్ త్రూ ద ఆపరేషన్స్ ఐ హావ్ గాన్ త్రూ ద ఫైర్ ఫైటింగ్స్ ఐ హావ్ గాట్ ది ఆల్డి మెడల్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఐ రిసీవ్డ్ అవార్డ్స్ ఆల్సో so i know how an operation actually takes place and in half the films you will find that the moment somebody is getting hit on the head you will find the blood splashing from here in real the blood will not splash from here blood will go from here only that where the bullet enters how the bullet enters i know i have seen it when i shoot a person i can't see any blood in the front the whole portion will go off so in my film i will be making sure that these kind of things will not then you will find smoke coming from here never there will be a smoke there will not be any spark in this mm. so these kind of things i differ from other directors mm. because i know that like, when you kill a person how the impact will be so from my film you can and all my films i have used the original guns not dummy bullets and stuff like that the dummy bullets what happens it hits then the effect man the blood comes out here the blood doesn't come out then the smoke comes fire comes and my film will not find anything like this this is where, where i feel like i am an authentic filmmaker and i will not be doing any stupidity like that what are the other things then plus after watching my film i will meet in this two hours the person who is watching the film he is basically a patriot in the person everybody is patriot i just wake it up i just wake them up when end of the film they just feel like yes i am a proud indian this is what is my film says and i love the making now or my audience my protagonist shout like ki bharat mata ki jai no no audience will stand up and say ki bharat mata ki jai that is a kind of film maker this is what is the difference i believe Okay. I don't write in a dialogue like this. Okay. What are the highlights of this film? This film, we had a tank battle where you will find about 20 odd tanks, the real tanks fighting. In Indian cinema, nobody shot it. I can proudly say that. Ali Arjun's, uh, I mean, uh, this Ali Suresh uh, character, is the one who is controlling this tanks and all this thing so that battle is something like a hollywood style mm-hmm. i could shoot because the real tanks were going the real tanks were firing so you will see the difference okay. the difficulty in that was 
we kept about five cameras. Those five cameras, once the camera starts and the tank starts, then the sound of the tanks, in between, I cannot control it. Once the tank, okay, start camera, no! Once the no starts, all tanks will be coming from different, different lines and the cameras will be all over in between. So I was just praying God that the camera, this tank should not run over the cameras. All were hiding in the bushes and all the same. So that kind of difficulties we shot, that when you watch the film you can understand, oh my God, where is the camera? <laughs> so that's the kind of thing. So when you take risk, the result is like that. That is what is a different, I can proudly say that yes, I have done something which others haven't done. Now you have to translate all these things with somebody in Telugu oh. <laughs> and they let the audience understand okay. that. Okay. My voice will be there behind. So after show yeah. later. Okay. Uh, do you want to say anything for Telugu audience? Okay. Telugu audience, <laughs> always I found them, they have film lovers. Because I have seen it in Hyderabad, uh, whenever I used to do courses and all this in Hyderabad, I used to see that so many theatres in all over India we have walked. In one place I have seen hundreds of theatres were in Meerut. UP, there is a place Meerut. Then, Andhra when you come, people live with cinema. That is why they love cinema. Number two, Hardly any patriotic films come. A small bit also, I have seen the josh of their patriotism burning. That means they are basically patriots. Yes. I salute them for that because I love to do patriotic films in Telugu. Why? Because the audience and the youth have got that spirit. Mm. So actually you should, uh, Telugu people should once in a year make these kind of films for them to wake up. Now they forget it. The patriotism uh, generally woken up when you know India Pakistan cricket match happens, then we are all proud Indians. <laughs> India Pakistan war happens, we are all proud Indians. Then the uh, rest of the time we forget. <laughs> to, to wake up, these kind of things are required. So I really wish you all the best and uh, keep it up. Telugu audience should keep this patriotic spirit always high and let us all be united and we should not talk about caste and creed. No party. I don't believe in all those things. Okay. I don't believe in caste. I don't believe in parties. Which are party? I got only one party and one flag that is national flag mm -hmm. and one caste that is human caste. So that yeah. everybody should have it on. Thank you guys. What is your next future projects? Next project I am doing love story. Again, that's got an India Pakistan touch. Uh, that is I am doing it with uh, Nilin Pali. You might be known, even probably very well. The yes, audience also yes, may have yes. seen it. So that we are starting some in August or September, something like that. Afterwards, I am planning uh, subject. Which language I am supposed to do? That sometimes I'll, I may even surprise the Telugu audience. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. With the only Telugu people who are manchi hitta alani, you guys are manchi puttu karthi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Thank you.